in this phase of training, you've already worked this transitional flow back and forth into and out of this pigeon pose. Uh, now, we want to put it into motion into that walk, the pigeon walk. And this is kind of a tricky movement for a lot of people, even if you're a skilled yoga pr practitioner. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start in one pigeon and break down the movement piece by piece to make sure that you can continue working on this transition safely. And we're going to use our hands for support right now. So we're going to use our training wheels. All right, so I'm going to back up and we're going to work towards you so you can see exactly what's going on. Hips tucked under, spine nice and tall. Now we're going to use our hands here just for support, okay? Lift through the crown. We're going to take the hands, press it to the ground. The leg behind you is going to extend out to the side. From there, extend it in front of the opposite knee. So if you line it up with the opposite knee, that's your goal. The heel and the knee should be lined up. After that, you're going to turn to the outside of the pinky toe. This is important to keep your knee safe. So rotate the toe down and the knee, outside of the knee, should be in contact with the mat as you use your hands to pull yourself forward. Shin is nearly perpendicular to your body. Extend the back leg and turn over onto that rear hip. Same thing on the opposite side. So to do the opposite side, the leg sweeps out in front of the opposite knee. Now the problem here, right, would be if we try to go forward on this like this. See what happens with the knee. What we're going to do here is again turn the pinky toe out to try to get the outside of the shin and the outside of the knee as close to the ground as possible. Use our training wheels and pull our body forward till the shin's perpendicular to our body. Extend the rear leg back for your basic pigeon walk, hand assist. 